Let's take a look at the control panel. From the tool menu, choose your selection tool, which is the black arrow at the top of the list. Click on it to select it. The control panel is this area right here. It's a contextual area, and that means that it changes depending on what tool you have selected, what type of object you have selected, and what you intend to do with those selections. For instance, if we click on the Plucky Pony Toys logo, then we can see some information that appears in the panel. Now, depending on the size of your computer screen, that means the width of the computer screen, you may see more or less information than I have shown here. For larger monitors, more information will appear in the control panel. The first thing you should notice about the control panel is in the upper left-hand corner. There's a nine-point selection indicator that tells us the coordinates of the area or of the object that we have selected. Right now, the control panel is indicating where the center of the selection is. All I'm doing is reading out the various locations of the control points of the selection. Switch back to the center by clicking the center reference point. You'll also notice that the width and height are indicated here, as well as some scaling percentages. Switch to the text tool now and select special offer by clicking and dragging across special offer. You'll notice that the control panel has changed again and now it's telling us the font, the size, the letting, and any other text related information about the selection. We can read right off of the control panel that this text is centered. To make a change to an object you can type directly in the control panel. This saves you from having to go up to the menus or remember particular keystrokes to make changes. For instance, if I wanted to change the size of this type to something larger, I've got it selected already. All I have to do is type in a new number up there. So click and select, and then type in a new type size. Perhaps 80 points is better. Type in 80 and hit return. Now the type is larger. You also have access to paragraph controls. Select the paragraph icon, and you can see that the control panel changes yet again. Some of these controls appear in the character control panel as well. The character control panel is with the A, so if we click on that, you can see the character formatting, and again, paragraph formatting is under P. Do you see how these things are the same, but organized a little bit differently? Again, if you have a wider monitor, you may be seeing more or less of these controls appearing. The control panel has further options, and they're over on the right. Anytime you see this icon, either in the control panel or in other panels, it means that there are other options that are being hidden at the moment. We can reveal them by clicking on the icon and opening up the menu. As you can see, there are many more options available to us. I'm interested in the item at the bottom, however, and it's called Customize. This allows us to set up exactly what appears on the control panel. Remember how I had said we were going to be able to customize the interface? You have the ability to change what appears on the control panel right here. So if in the paragraph control panel you don't want to have the font, then you can shut that off. Simply click the triangle to the left of paragraph, and you can see that there are some items that are hidden. For instance, paragraph style. Paragraph style is kind of important, so I'd like to turn that on. Click it to make that appear when we close the customization open up the character and you can see that the fonts and attributes are present. Let's shut off fonts and then say OK. Now you can see that fonts have been replaced by paragraph style. If we switch back to character mode, you can see that we don't have access to fonts anymore. Perhaps it's best to put that back. Click on the options, go down to customize, turn the fonts back on under character and say OK. You can see that we've got the font back, but also that the paragraph style has appeared far over on the right of the control panel. Again, depending on the width of your screen, your control panel may look different than this.